Hello, friends. This is Michelle from Creativity for Kids, and I'm so excited to share the National Soft Ice Cream Day. And honestly, regardless if it's soft or hard ice cream, I will take it all because it's just all so yummy. Um, and Meredith today is going to do a very sweet project with us. So if you need anything, just put your question in the Q&A box and we'll be here. So without further ado, enjoy the class and Meredith, take it away. Thank you so much, Michelle. I am so excited because it's National Soft Ice Cream Day. So I've got my earrings on, I've got my shirt on to celebrate, and later tonight I think I will be enjoying some ice cream. So um, to celebrate with all of you, and thank you for being here, we are doing our Big Gem Diamond Painting Sweets Kit. So I can't wait to create with you. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, so I do want to point out one thing here, and we'll get to it maybe a little bit later, but you're actually given a little sample of our Big Gem Diamond Painting Cupcake here in the box. So if you do want to use this little sticker, you can always go inside and grab it out and use that for whatever you'd like. Um, but let's get to creating our own. So here we have our handy dandy instructions. We have our tray. And this tray will hold all of our little gems. And here's all of our little gems. We've got orange, we've got magenta, we have lavender, yellow, green, ooh, turquoise, and my favorite are these white with a pearl iridescent shimmer to them. So we have all of our gems that we'll be painting with. And then we have this little pink square. And this actually works with our tool that I'll be showing you in a second. So here's our tool. We get that out. And then in here, you're, you're also given a couple items that will go with our sun catchers. So you have some stands like this. You're given two stands and also two little suction cups that will allow your, um, your sun catcher to hang on your window. So we'll keep those aside until later. And speaking of sun catchers, in here we have our sun catchers. So we've got our Sunday. Ice cream sundae, perfect for today. And we also have our layered, how many layers do we have? One, two, three, four, five layer cake. So we have those. And then we have our super duper sparkly holographic stickers that we'll be decorating. So you're given, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then over here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 stickers that we can adorn with our big gem diamonds. Now, if you do not have this kit at home, that's okay. All you need is some stickers that you'd like to decorate with rhinestones, and then just get some rhinestones either that have adhesive on the back, or if you can't find any with adhesive on the back, you can always just use a glue stick and you can um, put glue, a uh, little glue stick on your stickers 
and then stick your rhinestones onto your stickers that way. So you can follow along even if you don't have the kit. But if you do have the kit, thank you. And I'm happy that you're following along. So to get started, let's have all of our friends out there tell me which one of these stickers they would like me to decorate first. And I'll hold up our sticker sheet. So if you can let me know either the cake, the ice cream sundae, or the ice cream cone. Which one should we decorate first? Michelle, if you don't mind letting me know what our friends think out there, that would be super helpful. We actually have a question about, can we use glitter or sequins? Oh, you know, um, if you're using your own stickers and you're applying um, glue to them, you could use whatever you want. For these, we've only really tested the rhinestones um, and they work very well, but I would say, give it a try. If you wanna try using glitter or sequins on your stickers, I say, go for it. And if it works out really wonderfully, please do take a picture and then share it with us on our social media site so we can see what it looks like too. Great, Great question. thank you. Thank you. We do have a vote for the cake, the ice cream cake. Oh, cool. Okay, let's get that one done then. Here we All go. Right. So the first thing we're gonna do, and you'll need a pair of scissors for this. We're going to cut out our sticker. So you can see on our sticker sheet, there is a dotted line. And we're just going to follow that dotted line and cut it out that way. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our sticker and think, okay, what rhinestones do we want to use on our sticker? And you can follow the colors that are already printed. So if you want, you can do a line of orange, a line of pink, a line of green, a line of blue, and then use the white for the icing and then purple, pink, and yellow for the decoration on top. Or if you want, you could just do whatever colors that you feel like doing. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, printing as my guide um, in, in following the colors. So I'm going to prepare my little tray of rhinestones according to these colors. So I'm going to put that down for a second and then open up our rhinestones here. So I'll need the white. And I'm only putting down maybe like a small pile. I'm not emptying the whole thing because um, I don't know how many stickers we're gonna get to today. So I don't want to put all of my rhinestones in the tray at once. We will need the lavender. We'll need the blue, the turquoise. and the magenta. And in this kit, you are given so many stickers and two sun catchers. So if you wanted to do a couple and then take a break and then come back to it another day and do a couple more, you know, that's quite all right. And that, that's fun to do too. And if you have friends who see your stickers and are like, oh my gosh, I want to do that too, you can invite them over and then a couple of you could be decorating um, with stickers and sun catchers together or take turns doing it because there are so many. 
And you can do so many different things with them. You can put them on notebooks, you can put them on cards, and we'll get to that a little bit later too. Okay, so I have just a little, a little bundle of each of my colors here in my tray. The next thing we need to do is prepare our tool. Now this tool is special. It's kind of like a pencil, but the tip of it is hollow. And I'll raise this up to show you if I can get it in focus, maybe not. So this tip here is hollow. And what we're gonna do with this tip is press it into this little pink square. And this little pink square is wax. So we have to remove this protective sheet from one side of the pink square and hold on to it. Like, don't throw it away. Um, just put it to the side because when you're not crafting, you can put it back over top of it and protect this um, from getting any rhinestones or dog hair or whatever it is that might get on wax. So, okay, so what we're gonna do is just press the tip of this into the corner of our wax. So you can see, I just took a little bit off the corner. Maybe I'll push it in there one more time. And the whole idea of this tool is making it easier for you to pick up your rhinestones. So I'm just kind of shaping, just real quickly, shaping the wax onto the tip of our tool. So we'll put this aside for a second. Now let's go ahead and take the protective sheet off of our sticker. Why there's a protective sheet on the sticker is because there's some little dots that have adhesive on the sticker already for us. So all these little dots that you see, those are all sticky. And that's what's gonna hold the rhinestone onto the sticker. So I'll show you how easy and fun this is. And I'm actually going to switch sides here because I'm right handed and it's easier for me to just reach into the tray with my right hand on the right side and put it on to the sticker. So let's start at the top with yellow. So just take the tip of your tool, push it onto the rhinestone and then push it onto the sticker. It's really super easy and it goes pretty darn quickly. So it's not, it's like very, it's very fun and satisfying. And then you get this beautiful sparkly sticker when you're done. So let's see, maybe I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, here we go. So you can see a little bit easier. So I'm just taking my tool and pushing onto the top of the rhinestone and pushing onto the sticker where I want to place it. Yay, super easy. And then I just kind of push down on the rhinestones to make sure that they're all stuck down there nicely. So, and friends, this is how easy it is. So um, I really hope that you have this kit at home too, so you can, make some gorgeous stickers like this and celebrate National Soft Ice Cream Day by making some super sweet little stickers like this. I should mention if your tip gets a little bit wonky like this, you can see like the wax is now flat. You can just take your finger and push it back into the tip of your tool and then it's good to go again. Now, if you notice that the um, wax has completely come out, you can just grab some more wax from your little wax square up here. So, there you go. And this birthday cake or this layered, rainbow layered cake makes me think of this coming weekend because 
my niece Haley is having her 10th birthday party and she will more than likely have some kind of cake or some kind of dessert to celebrate her birthday. So I think what I'll do is make one of these stickers and give it to her on her birthday card for this weekend. All right, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of my little rhinestones are flipped over. So the silver side is facing up instead of the colored side is facing up. So you can either like tap the side of your tray to try and flip them over. Or I found using this, um, the base part of the sun catcher that you're given, you can just flip them up a little bit. And that might help. Um, you can just kind of shush them around and that might help in flipping them over so the colored side is facing up. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured that out today. <laughs> so it's it's easy and it's kind of fun to do. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So here we go. Now I've never made a cake like this, but I've seen a lot of people who have, and it looks beautiful once they're done. And they're really fun. It brings a lot of joy to the party when you have a rainbow cake. All right, we're almost done with our first sticker. Da, 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 da. All right, one, two, and three. Ta da, we're all done. Okay, so that took no time at all. Um, all right, so this is the result of our sticker of our big gem diamond, diamond painting rainbow cake. So now, what do you do with the sticker? You can do whatever you want with it. So for example, I put this one on the cover of my notebook paper, of my little notepad. You can, like I mentioned before, you can make a little card. So I could write happy birthday Haley in here and then give that to her. You can also go online and download. We have all of these different cards um, on our website that you can download and print out and they actually go with the stickers in the kit. So you can gift someone a little card like this, like, uh, won't you be mine? So that would be really fun for Valentine's Day. And then you would take the little gumball sticker and you'd stick it on there. So we have these available. Um, just as a nice little fun little add-on. Also, what I found is really cool, and I'm gonna show you how you can make a little necklace with one of these. So I'm going to choose maybe this little cupcake here. And this cupcake is the one that's from the front of the box. So if you peel this off of the inside of the box, what you can do is just cut around it. And this is just the um, clear plastic that it comes on. So you can cut around it like this. Or you could actually um, take it off of the clear plastic and stick it on a piece of paper. Or a piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to remove this blue sticker that's up at the top and use my hole punch. I'm going to remove both of these little rhinestones up here. I'm going to use my hole punch and put a hole at the top. Let's see if that can help. Yeah. There we go. So now I have a hole at the top of my sticker 
And then you can just use some yarn or some string that you might have laying around. Mm -hmm. So I have this pink string. And I'm just going to string it through my sticker. Just like this. Mm -hmm. And then, so I have that. And now I'm gonna just tie the ends together like this. Da, 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 da. All right, and can we get a front view? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so now I have one of our big gem diamond painting suites as a necklace. Yeah, yeah. So you can do that and make one of those for your friends if you want as well. So let's do another sticker. How's that sound? Good. Okay. So let's get another vote as to what other sticker we should do next. I'll get my other sheet of stickers here. Whoa. Okay, we have a healthier option here, which is a watermelon. We have cotton candy, a milkshake, uh, our bubble gum, a donut, or a lollipop. All right, friends out there. Which sticker should we do next? Let's see, so we have a vote for the lollipop and the donut and the oh. watermelon. <laughs> so many choices. All right, let's see. How about, all right, what is the, whoever voted third, what was their vote? That would be the watermelon from Bella. Bella. Okay, cool. We're doing the watermelon. All right. Thank you, friends, for voting. All right. So here comes the watermelon. All right. So we have the choice of following the colors that are printed on our sticker, or if we want to create something crazy, like maybe a rainbow watermelon or a grape grape flavored watermelon and i think i'm going to do something like that because that just seems like fun and i've never done that before so instead of using pink for all of the center of the watermelon i'm going to use lavender so it's going to be a grape flavored watermelon all right, so we have our purple in here, our lavender in here. We have our green in here, and I'm gonna just kind of flip some of those green ones over so we have enough. And you know what? Maybe I'll just do a mixture of pink and purple in the center so it's not completely grape flavored. It's still got some watermelon flavor to it too. All right, so like I just did, we just removed the protective sheet. We put our sticker over here. Let's check our tool and make sure that it's good to go. It looks like there's some wax in there. Yep, we're good. Okay, and now we just go ahead and start filling in our sticker with our rhinestones. And I really do like the idea of using glitter too. But these stickers have a holographic print to them. So they're already very sparkly, but I would really love to see if someone out there, if one of our friends did their own big gem diamond painting and used some glitter, that would be really cool. Ooh, I love how this is looking already. Grape, watermelon, watermelon. 
All right, one more lavender one. Okay, so if your rhinestone doesn't fit perfectly in when you place it, you can always just push down a little bit harder, like this one. I put that one a little bit too close to the other one. So you can kind of just push down and move it around until it does lay flat. Okay, time for pink. I should say magenta. Da -da -da -da. Magenta. I can't wait to get ice cream tonight. Flip some of these over. There we go. Oop. I'm going to have mint chocolate chip. Actually, since it's soft ice cream day, um, usually it's soft serve. So the soft serve ice cream that I know of is usually vanilla, chocolate, or twist. There we go. Okay, so we have the inside of our watermelon done. Let's show you. Ooh, uh, pretty. Now let's do the outside of the watermelon. And you can see the outside of the watermelon has dark and light green. So to accentuate that, I'm going to use yellow and green for the outside instead of all green. And I'm gonna get a little bit more wax, just like that. Push it in, all right. Yellow, green, yellow, green is the pattern that we're following for our watermelon rind. <laughs> and then after this, I'm going to show you guys the sun catcher. So, like I said, you're given two sun catchers in this kit. One is a very tall layered cake, and the other is an ice cream sundae. So let's think about which one we want to decorate. And then I'll ask you your opinion if we should do the cake or if we should do the sundae. Mm -hmm. All right, one more and ta-da! Our watermelon is complete. There we go. Yay, happy, happy, joy, joy. All right, so we do have one of our printouts here that says you're one in a melon. And that is where our watermelon lives, right there. So if you go ahead and print these out, you can use your watermelon sticker on there if you want. All right, so let's make some space here. And here are our two options, our sun catchers. So what do you guys think, friends? What, which one should we decorate or at least start to decorate? Because these take a little bit longer since they are a little bit larger. Should we do our layered cake or should we do our happy little Sunday ice cream sundae? I'm getting a few votes for the ice cream sundae. Oh, wonderful. It is the perfect, perfect thing to do for such a very celebratory day. Now I will show you, I've done one already. And what I've done here is a pink cherry on top with orange and lemon ice cream and strawberry and grape um, toppings. And then there's some lime ice cream in there. And then these are two handles of two spoons because I think this ice cream sundae will take two people to eat because it is very large. 
But again, we do not have to go by this color choice. We can choose whatever colors we want. Now to do this, we are going to have to go to our instructions and flip them over. And this gives you the guide to follow in putting your gemstones on our on the um, sun catcher. So the sun catcher doesn't have little dots of stickiness. It's just all sticky wherever there isn't printing. So this whole area here of the cherry, that's all sticky. So in order to make it a little easier to fill in, what we're gonna do is lay our sun catcher over top. Let's see. We're gonna lay our sun catcher over top of our instructions like this. And then you can take a little piece of tape if you wanna hold it in place. And we're just gonna pull up the protective sheet a little bit. So we have room to tape our sun catcher in place. So that way, um, if the table gets bumped or if you accidentally bump your uh, sun catcher or the instructions, it will somewhat be in place so you can follow the guide as to where to put your rhinestones. Okay, so let's bring our tray back here. We're gonna move this stuff out of the way. And here's our tray. And we'll probably have to add more um, rhinestones to our tray because like I mentioned, this sun catcher is bigger than our stickers. So, We'll just add the rhinestones as we need them. Now, what you can do is you can remove the entire plastic sheet, or you can just remove part of it while you're working on that part of your sun catcher. And this way, it will protect the rest of your sun catcher from gathering things like, I don't know, lint from your sweater or your bracelet getting stuck on it or whatever it may be. So we're gonna keep the protective sheet on it until we are done with one area. So I'm just gonna pull down the area that I'm working on right now, which is the cherry on top. And I'm gonna do a traditional magenta cherry. And really, I don't know if magenta is really that traditional for a cherry. But given the colors that we have here, I would say it is as traditional as we can be. And I'm good with that. Pink. Pink. And I need some more pink. So let's get some more out here. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull down the sheet again and we'll keep going. So where these dots are placed is just a suggestion. If you don't want to use the guide, you don't have to. You can just place your um, rhinestones wherever you would like. And I have to move them a little bit because I may have misplaced one and then just push it in like that. All right, so we have our cherry done. Now our first layer of frosting, I guess maybe this is whipped cream. So I'm going to do that as lavender, lavender whipped cream. So I have only seen whipped cream come in the color white before. But who knows, maybe in the future, people will start tinting the whipped cream so it's more fanciful for parties. Like maybe they want to make it lavender and it would still taste like whipped cream, but it would just be lavender. And in the past, I know they did that with ketchup 
They actually used to have green ketchup. I didn't like it as much as the red ketchup. It tasted the same, but it just looked a little strange to me. All right, so the next layer, let's do blue. This is so fun and so easy to do. I just love this kit. And we actually have more than just the sweets. We care, we have um, a bunch of different big gem diamond painting kits. Michelle, can you list off the different big gem diamond painting kits we actually have? Yes. So at your local Michaels, you can find Big Gem Diamond Painting Magical, Magical. Big Gem Diamond Painting Sweets, Yay. and the Big Gem Diamond Painting Light, which is really cool because you can use it in your room and it will um, it will have all these different patterns um, on the top of your ceiling. So Really fun, really cool. Oh, wow. I have not done the Big Gem Diamond Painting Light Kit yet. I would love to do that. That would be really cool. And then we could shut off the lights and see how it projects the light through the Big Gem Diamond Painting design. That would be really cool. Yay. Thank you, Michelle. I knew you would have them in mind. Sometimes they escape my mind. And here we go. We're already on our yellow layer of whipped cream. There's a lot of whipped cream on here, which I am a fan of. And we'll flip these over. Here's some more yellow. Yep. Maybe just one more yellow. I see you hiding here. There you go. Okay. So now we can keep going. Actually, I do encourage you to keep going if you'd like, but I'm going to stop for now and just show you the finished um, Sunday again and what the finished cake looks like. So let me grab that one. Here we go. Here's our finished cake. Lots and lots of pretty rainbow layers. So I'll show you how this is used. When it's time, if you'd like your um, window catcher, your sun catcher to stand up instead of hanging it on the window, all you do is you take this piece. So you're given two of these, one for each of your sun catchers. And you see how there's a slot in it right here. Well, there's a slot in the bottom of your sun catcher. So you just slide each slot together like that. Let's see if I can hold it like that. And then it will stand up. All right, can we do a front facing? Please, thank you. And let's see if I can hold my hand steady enough. Ooh, ta-da! So here's a lovely gigantic piece of cake for you. All right, so that's how we do the um, stand. But if you want to hang it, all you do is you get the little suction cup hanger that's included in the kit. And then you can just put it through the hole. And okay, front facing one more time, please. And it hangs like this. So then you would put the suction cup on your window and the light would come in and make the sparkle just like that. So really cool, really fun. So that's how those work. Very cool. All right. So what do you think, Michelle? Should we do a couple more? I think we have time for maybe one more sticker. One more sticker. OK, friends, let's vote. Which one do we want to do? Hold on. Let me hold them up. Okay. All right. We had talked about the donuts, the cotton candy, the milkshake, the lollipop, or the gumball machine. Ooh. 
All Let's right, see I see a vote for the cotton candy and another one for the bubble machine. So maybe you can be our tiebreaker. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna do the bubble gum machine. All right, I think that'll be fun. Bubble gum machine. I actually had a friend who dressed up like a bubble gum machine for Halloween. And it was a super cute costume. All right, let's just switch this over here. Da, 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 da. And our wax and our tool, we'll prepare our tool again. I think I'm just gonna get some new wax. So we'll just put that wax there, grab some new, make sure it's in the tip. We'll remove our protective sheet and we'll get to it. And again, I'm gonna follow the colors on our sticker this time. So pink, pink, pink for the top of our machine. And I'm gonna just do the whole machine first. Like this. Na, 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 na. So I'm wondering if our friends out there, if they would like to tell us if they have any suggestions or ideas as to where they would stick their big gem diamond painting stickers. If you're following along and if you've done a big gem diamond painting sticker, where have you stuck your sticker? I'm so curious. I need another purple one. So if you want to write into Michelle, on our Q&A and let us know where you've stuck your sticker. That would be pretty cool. Oops. We had a friend write that she put it in her room. Oh, that's it probably is making your room super sparkly in that area. That's wonderful. Does anyone put it on their notebook or their folder for school? I wonder. I think school's starting for a lot of kids out there right now. Yes, I actually made one and put one on my notebook for work. Oh, and did you? I did, <gasps> and last summer my daughter made made a sticker and put it on her bike helmet. Oh, yay. Uh, that's a great idea, too. You could put them on your bike helmet. That's fun. All right. Well, our little friendly gumball machine is all finished up. So I think I'm going to make a little card here. Just real quick. I've got some paper sitting here, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to fold it in half and cut it maybe in a circular shape, kind of like a gumball. That's kind of pointy at the bottom. And put my sticker on the outside here. Just, oh, that would be cute if I opened it up like that. Just like that. Cool. And now I can write a little message inside. Have a wonderful day. And then I'll give it to someone. All right. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for hosting and for being here with me. And thank you, friends, for joining us today. And I really hope you enjoyed this class as much as I did. And please join me again for our next class with Michaels as we craft together. Have a great day and enjoy your ice cream. Bye.